Let's say we have a municipality that has uh, an overabundance of wastewater treatment sludge that they would like to do something more useful with as opposed to putting it in the landfill. Let's say that that municipality is surrounded by a large amount of agriculture, which creates a lot of manure refuse. And we also have uh, access to a variety of pre and post consumer food waste as well. And we could take all of those waste streams and rather than throwing it away, we create energy from the syn gas that would be used to power a, a generator. And we were able to create a tremendous amount of co-generated heat. We could use that in an industrial process or heat some greenhouses that are adjacent to the facility to grow more food. And we could create a biofuel and could sell that at a competitive rate on the open market. And let's say we can create a soil amendment to create a superior organic fertilization system that helps to better sustain our crop production. And we can do all of that through this one platform, this one technology. First of all, we're not handling these wastes in the most effective or in a positive way. What we have done and what we're very good at doing is externalizing the process so that the average consumer doesn't see it. It might leach into the sediments, it might go directly into the river. For most of our human history, that's exactly where your human excrement went. It wasn't even sludge that had been sitting around drying, it was, it was simply your daily midden going out into the river by millions of people upstream. In our country now, it's totally permissible to take a water treatment facility and <clears throat> treat the water and then call it compost and spread it on farms to be used to grow crops that we then eat again. They're finding that there are lots of contaminants in, in pathogens and uh, prions and things that are in the uh, waste stream that don't get killed off in the treatment process and survive and then come through uh, in the pizza that you're eating right now. <laughs> Vegetables, uh, you know, uh, various other things. We help municipalities or any of our clients to deal with the issues of transparency from a regulatory standpoint, from a consumer standpoint. We want people to understand and embrace the technology. We don't want to hide anything from them. We sequester all of the air pollution, the syn gas, uh, because we want to use it in a useful way. All of the liquid uh, is converted to the biofuel and manipulated in a way so that they don't go back directly into the local water table. All of the carbon is sequestered in biochar. It's a closed process. So I say to the average consumer, here's what you're doing now with your waste streams in, the, in your local region, which is externalizing the problem to you directly, but is causing major problems for you down the road and your children and your children's children. Then I can say, here's what we can do to eliminate those waste streams from doing what they're doing. And we can help your local municipality make money.